Welcome back to Chips and Salsa, where we talk security at Intel. I'm Jerry, and I'm excited to have Shelby joining me today as my co-host. Uh, Shelby, can you introduce yourself? Absolutely, Jerry, and I'm excited to be here. So I'm Shelby Einson. I am a Senior Director in Product Security Communications in the Intel Product Assurance and Security Group at Intel. Been with Intel about 12 years now, and uh, just really excited to talk to our special guest today. Today we're talking about product security assurance and, and how it's the foundation everything at Intel is built on. Yes, and that special guest is Mosin Fazlian, Corporate Vice President and General Manager of the Intel Product Assurance and Security Organization at Intel. Let's bring Mosin on to learn more about this important topic. Let's do it. Well, Mosin, welcome to the show. Uh, before we get started, can you give us a little background about yourself and what you do at Intel? Sure. Uh, thank you for inviting me. Uh, my name is Mohsen Fazlian, and I'm the Corporate VP of Intel Product uh, Security and Assurance. So we are, our team is responsible for the product security assurance, which we're going to be talking about today. Great. Thanks for joining, Mohsen. So as the leader of Intel Product Assurance and Security Group, you have a unique perspective. Talk about how you define product security assurance and then its role as the foundation for Intel security strategy. Sure. Um, as you folks very well know, um, I truly believe that the product security is not just a product feature. It's also a mindset. So um, the product security, just like quality, needs to be embedded into product development process. Uh, product security needs to be part of our value and what we do day in, day out. And it cannot be afterthought. And Along with uh, you know, developing a security culture, you also have to build an end-to-end -end system to deliver the results uh, that you're looking for, which is obviously you know, delivering products to our customers that they can trust. And what I mean by end-to-end -end system is uh, having a robust and effective security development lifecycle, security training, security proactive research, and also a security response system. And connecting all this is a learning system that continues to evolve to make you and your product better every day. So to me, that's uh, what the product security assurance is all about. And we all know that uh, security assurance programs uh, are not the same. What are uh, the top things customers should keep in mind when evaluating the security of products uh, that they choose? Well, um, the customers should really evaluate whether or not uh, the product has gone through proper security development framework, whether the product has been through security evaluation and testing or not, and does the product have the robust support that is needed to keep it secure for years to come? So a collection of all of these uh, are what the customers should truly evaluate as they are making their purchasing decisions. That's a great segue, Mosin. I wanna go back into the first part of the, the question I asked. With that in mind, talk about the role now of product security assurance as the foundation of Intel's overall security strategy. Well, you know, security is becoming more and more important to our customers every day. And I truly look at you know, security as a differentiator uh, as uh, different companies offer products to their customers. So our strategy has been to deliver products uh, to our customers that, as I said, that they can trust. And not everybody out there uh, can claim that they had the capability, the talent, the infrastructure uh, to deliver that to our customers. So for me, it's part of the Intel strategy to uh, you know, secure our products and protect our customers. And we're getting better and better, better at it every day. And to me, that's truly a differentiator for Intel. And that's part of our strategy for Intel. Yeah, and as part of our Security First pledge and our commitment to security, we just published our sixth annual Intel Product Security Report. Uh, detailing the uh, product vulnerabilities we mitigated and disclosed in 2024. What are some of the key stats that stand out for you in that report? I particularly like the percentage of vulnerabilities uh, that were found through our security assurance systems and, and programs that we have at Intel. 
uh, as, it is, as it is stated in the report, 96% of all security vulnerabilities were found internally by our talented security researchers or through our bug bounty program. Also, another key factor that you will see in the report is that 100% of our CPU vulnerabilities were found internally by our own Intel researchers. Uh, and the last item, you know, is, that sets us apart from others in the industry is our capability to provide Intel platform updates to our customers on a very reliable cadence and high quality to address security vulnerabilities and have the infrastructure to do that for all of our products up to 10 years or more. And that is clearly, you know, showcasing our commitment uh, to product security and our investment in security assurance. That's great, Mosin. Thank you. So we have talked internally as team about being world class and driving to that. And you mentioned here uh, some of the different ways that uh, assurance is an advantage for Intel. It's a competitive differentiator. And then this year, we've started to state that Intel offers the industry's best security assurance. What makes us so confident in that claim? Um, you know, I do believe that we have one of the best product security assurance uh, capabilities in the industry. So, um, you know, we, we also get feedback from our customers, uh, from our partners in the industry as we interact with them. And, uh, you know, the maturity and effectiveness of our product security assurance uh, capabilities, well, you know, was evaluated and confirmed by a third party, you know, research company by, by ABI Research. And you can find that report uh, at our website at intel.com slash security. So you don't have to take my word for it. Go read the report and you will see that Intel product security assurance truly stands out among our peers in the industry. That's great. We also just published, as Jerry mentioned, the uh, latest PSR, the security report, and that's also available at intel.com slash security. So you can find both of those resources there. Mosin, any closing thoughts, anything you'd want to share sort of where we're going next or, or how you would take this information from a customer point of view? Sure. Um, you know, as I mentioned earlier, product security is uh, one of the key factors, uh, you know, in purchasing decisions by our customers. Uh, they want products that can help them to secure their systems and, their, and the services. And, uh, and it is our job uh, to meet that need. Uh, also, you need to understand building a world-class uh, you know, product security assurance capabilities and systems doesn't happen by accident and doesn't happen overnight. It needs commitment and it needs investment. And Intel has been doing just that you know, to deliver more secure products and services to our customers. And we will continue to keep these products and services uh, secure. You know, a, a lot of vendors can claim that they can provide the same level of security assurance capabilities as Intel does, but it really comes down to backing that claim with proven capabilities, infrastructure, maturity, and talented security experts. And I can confidently tell you today that, you know, as you mentioned, Intel has that and Intel is among the best in the industry when it comes to product security assurance. Well, that's awesome, Mosin. Uh, thank you for sharing your thoughts on product security assurance with us and our customers. And thank you for joining the show. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you. And this is the time I understand where I go, wow. Actually, in all seriousness, that was great information. I thank Mosin for sharing and joining with us. Thank you for allowing me to join Jerry. This was great. I think the thing that really stands out to me in this topic is our focus on both pre and post release. So Intel making a lot of investments as Mosin outlined in pre-release, in working through processes in putting discipline in place to not only ensure that security products, but really all Intel products are developed with security and as securely as we can make them. And then we know 
things happen. So we release them, we get them to our products or to our customers, sorry. And then on the back end, when we find things, when they're reported to us, when we go out and engage with academic communities, with the research community, that they tell us, hey, these are things that we're seeing in the products that could be potential vulnerabilities. We have a discipline process where we jump in. We're going to triage it. We're going to find the impact to our products and to our customers. We're going to fix it. And then we're going to talk about it. And the report is a great example of that, where we're being very transparent uh, with what we find, with the CVEs that we um, issue and the impacts that they have. And then the work that we're doing on critical issue guidance on the um, service advisories, the things that are on our website to talk about what customers need to know so that they can make informed decisions for themselves around how they mitigate that risk. And I think that to me, listening to Mosin and the work we're doing is what really assurance does. It's that pre-release assurance that we're doing as much as anyone in the industry. And then on the back end that we're going to take all of these things seriously and ensure that we protect our customers. Yeah, and that's you know the main reason behind <clears throat> doing this annual report every year is the transparency behind some of that stuff. And I know we have a security assurance uh, website that customers can find at uh, intel.com slash security uh, that goes into a lot more detail on all of the things we do around product security assurance. Um, to find that uh, 2024 Intel product security report, just go to intel.com slash security report at the link below on the screen. Uh, Shelby, again, I want to thank you for joining me as a co-host today, and hopefully we can do this again soon. Absolutely. Look forward to it, Jerry. Thanks, everyone.